Civil cases are the ones I dread the most. Divorces, custody disputes. It's a thankless task trying to unpack these kinds of cases with logic and reason. You have to be kind, courteous, and patient with your clients, even though half the time they are completely incapable of participating in a constructive discussion. <sighs> I know I advertise myself as being fully versed in every area of the law, but honestly, if it were up to me, I'd rather everyone could just get along so we wouldn't have so many of these cases. Visions appear in response to strong desire. So as someone with ideals, it's only natural that I should have received one. Because above all, I wish for all people to live honest lives and abide by the law. But some people will always insist on playing by their own rules and causing havoc for everyone else. <laughs> Those people can expect to be prosecuted so hard, they won't know what hit them. This steelyard balance was a gift from my father. It weighs objects to determine their value. I usually use Mora for the weight, but it can only give the original price. For example, a thousand years ago, Liyue was covered in glazed lilies, and they weren't worth anything in monetary terms. Then, when they suddenly declined a number, the price shot up in response, but the value shown by the steelyard wasn't updated. It still shows them as their original value. In other words, dirt cheap. So, most of the time, this isn't a very useful tool for work purposes. Huh? You want to try weighing something? How about... We could weigh your little friend here? Will that do? I have a self-defense method that I call Wrath of the Flame, based on a punishment called the Wrath of the Rock, which is detailed in the ancient work The Comprehensive Compendium of Lila Law. The Lord of Geo is the god of contracts, and contracts, too, can be seen as a way of restraining people. <laughs> Ergo, Liwe Harbor has been the city of contracts since time immemorial. I heard that little herb gatherer has written out a whole set of behavioral rules for herself. She may be small, but boy, has she got her head screwed on. She's definitely destined for greatness. The young of today shall outperform us tomorrow, as they say. I must admit, she has my respect. Ganyu is kind and thoughtful. It's just a shame she's so busy all the time. Most of the time, she's buried in an endless pile of paperwork, the only exception being her nap at noon. Don't get me wrong, I have to put in some hours at work too, but I'm happy with the job I've chosen, and it's certainly a lot less taxing than hers. The Feiyun Commerce Guild is one of my oldest clients. Their approach to business is meticulous and thorough, and every business meeting I've had with them has always been attended by the head of the house himself. Last time, though, I happened to meet their youngest, Xingcho. To my complete surprise, the lad had no trouble whatsoever keeping up with my train of thought. He was very eloquent, too, and had excellent manners. Hmm, definitely not a simpleton. I always hear people saying that the director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has an unorthodox approach to business. They think she's gone a little non compos mentis after being in the funeral business so long. What are these people talking about? The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor provides a legitimate and necessary service, which is the cornerstone of any successful enterprise. Work is just work. There are no good and bad jobs or lucky and unlucky jobs. Just jobs that need doing. If I had one gripe, it would be that the director rarely comes to me for legal advice. <laughs> Mr. Zhang Li has so much in-depth knowledge on so many topics, he's like a walking library, you know what I mean? He's a total savant, though he never flaunts it. I could tell just by looking at him. People like him rarely shy away from taking on complex problems alone, so in my estimation, he's certainly not a potential client. And yet, somehow... I can't help but think I know him from somewhere. It's hard to describe the feeling. I asked my father about it, and he just said something to the effect of he didn't know either. Though he seemed a little evasive. It was so strange. Anyway, makes me wonder if my father is hiding something from me. Huh. Alright then. If he won't tell me what's going on, I'll just have to find out for myself. You must have heard of the Tian Chuen Ningguang. She's the highest authority where the law is concerned, and often makes amendments to the legal codices. Every round of additions, retractions, and revisions generates mountains of material. Why, the latest edition of the legal codices contained three new laws, 121 revised legal annotations, and an array of new legal precedents. Archons know how long it's going to take me to commit them to memory. <sighs> Still, she's a businesswoman at heart. I'm not about to let her beat me when it comes to the law. 
Once I finish memorizing these, I need to step up my productivity. The Yuheng doesn't deal with matters of the law, and thank goodness. Knowing Kuching's attitude toward work and ruthless efficiency, I'd end up losing a lot of work. Although... No, surely it wouldn't come to that. She's a stickler for doing things the right way. No doubt she'd offend people. But if she had someone like me as her legal assistant... No way. Why should an eminent legal expert such as myself be relegated to the role of assistant? If she needs legal counsel, she can come and find me. Eula saved me once, and we've kept up correspondence ever since. She's very familiar with the Knights of Favonius's legislation, but has never been one to be bound by convention. She uses cunning logic to deal with problems flexibly. Perhaps the reason we get along so easily is that I'm a similar type myself. Still, I'll never acquire that carefree spirit of hers. We are in very different professions, after all. Contracts of that magnitude, lifelong commitments... I've only ever signed one with my father. Uh, it's about living happily, I suppose. That's the kind of person he is. I'm proud of him for that. If he'd wanted me to sign a different contract, say, one about working myself into the ground, or stepping on others to achieve success, I would have ran away by now. <laughs>